good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to Paratech. Um, my name is Jupp Thomas. Uh, I'm the manager of Paratech Safety Systems, and uh, we are going to show you in detail how we're going to assemble the complete system. We start to attach the parachute lines to the parachute harness. Um, watching this will explain a lot of functionality um, and how the parachute works when you are under it as a user. So first step, we connect the parachute lines to the riser. So this is the most important difference to a round parachute. With a square parachute, you have a steering line. The steering line is being operated with a steering toggle, which I'm now going to connect to the line itself. You can simply pick it up from the riser by releasing the Velcro. In this position, we will inspect the final uh, connection between the parachute and the risers. So making sure that the outside line on the parachute is the outside line on the riser at the same time. So having expected it, we tighten all the screws. This is one very interesting detail um, I'd like to show you is these four risers uh, lead to the parachute and attached to the rear risers we have the steering toggles. There are two options to steer the parachute. One option is by the steering toggles. You will release the brake as described and the parachute will take the line and get to full glide ratio. Full glide ratio means full forward speed, full vertical speed. More comfortable and probably also interesting is to use the rear riser for steering with the brake set. So this means 50% brake for flight configuration and also for landing configuration. So packing the square parachute means to prepare it for the very best opening you can think of. The parachute is designed like a glider wing. So it has seven cells, the cells are open, and the cells will, on deployment, fill with air from the front to the rear of the parachute. So we have these cells, cell openings and prepare those to be ready for inflation. All the fabric is being sorted. Packing the parachute, now I'm preparing uh, the canopy to be packed into the inner packing tray. Uh, we can imagine that uh, the, the packing procedure is the reverse opening procedure. So this is slow motion and the real opening, once you use the parachute on a bailout, is probably two to three seconds from initiating the deployment, pulling the ripcord, before you under finally open parachute. So we use the line sews to close the orange packing tray. static line system, four meter static line, which we have uh, sorted here. And on deployment, the static line will come off uh, this line stow, stow after stow. Now we cover up the static line system.
We put the risers to the outside because they don't want to hurt the pilot's back when he's sitting on the wingman. Step by step. At this stage, we have the parachute inside the outer pack tray. So here is the orange color is the inner pack tray. And we have the bridle line that connects the inner pack tray to the pilot chute. And before we pack the pilot chute, I would like to give you a little demonstration of how it worked. This is actually a very strong one. I will compress it for you to give you an impression how it works once the parachute is deployed. So this is how small it is and let's see how it works. 